Hello, it's Emma and Steve here from Showrooms Online and welcome to our Christmas special. Now, we're bringing you some of the best houses we can find during our Christmas special and we're at Lightmore Village in Telford in Shropshire by Keepmoat Homes. This is a Keepmoat Homes development called The Paddocks. Now this is the elder house type, four bedrooms, two and a half storey, but just look at the colour of that brickwork. Isn't that fantastic? It's got a lovely colour about it. Um, I don't even know, it's kind of mellow, isn't it? But you can see the houses over there. Look, if you look, just come and look over there. Look at the offset colour on that. I love it. Really attractive houses. Um, without further ado, let's go and see what the elder has in store. Hello, Hello. Emma. So, this is the elder at Lightmore Village yes. by Keepmoat Homes. Four bed. Yeah. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's got home. stunning and it's our part of our Christmas special. Yes. Absolutely. And there's still snow, still on the ground. Already, we've still got the snow. Yes. So, where right, are? Let's take a look. And so we're in the hallway. Yeah, it's a sort of nice, yeah, plank, planked flooring, mm, isn't plank it? Planked flooring, yeah, very it's sweet, lovely. Very right, we've got a door. There you go. Downstairs, Downstairs WC. Good size. I feel the heat coming out of it, can't lovely, you? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, we had some measurements. We have got. Just under a metre by one metre four. Right through into the kitchen and dining. These doors feel really big, large doors. I mean, from here, you've got the most beautiful yeah. view, haven't you? Show the guys, show the viewers what's across the road there, Steve. Well, what do you got? You've got horses in the field, and then a lovely snow covered field. How beautiful is that? And it's a lovely sunny day. It's lovely. It is. Look at the cake. Keep me renowned for show their. Show the viewers the cake. Keep Motor renowned for their interior design. Vibrant colours is what I know. Right, measurements for in here. So the dining area, 2 metres 9 by 2 metres 4. Kitchen area, 2 metres 8 by 2 metres 3. So. That's odd, because neither of the measurements are the same, and yet the width is the same both areas. <laughs> well actually so, it's yeah. reduced by the kitchen units maybe that's... It is but the room is still the room isn't it? The yeah, actual space. We'll look into that. So yeah okay. Right so what have we got? We've got the dining table at this end. Six chairs. Lovely place for that. Kitchen. We've got fridge and freezer there at the end. Bank of drawers. I can hear the boiler, can you? Yeah. Yeah. There but it's having to work hard because it's very cold outside yeah, today. It's so day, nice, so. the sockets are nice. Nice, cool, the white sockets. Just nice to see something a little bit different, very sleek. Right, so in there you've got your washer dryer. So there's no separate utility. Look room. at the upstand on the worktop. Yeah. Makes your eyes go a bit funny. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Look very, at that. Very cold Open that, that maybe. Look at that for, pl that for plumbing. And look at that, really good. And it's got the uh, well, pipes in as well. You've got a slim line yeah. dishwasher and your washing machine yeah. on that side. So the combination yeah, is in into the middle. That very, yeah. Yeah. There you go. But that also means that everything fits immaculately, yeah. doesn't it, underneath the work surfaces. Now, is that an electric cooker? Can you just open that cupboard again, Emma, please? That Which one cupboard? there. That one there. This one, yeah. yeah. Now I think, is that, what I think it is, is that a gas pipe coming in for if you want to have a gas cooker instead? I don't know. Mm. I don't know what that is. Any viewers, let us know. Nobody has a cooker these days. You've actually got a hob Oh, you and know what oven. I mean. I'm a, a cooker. Hey, that's what they say in Yorkshire. Right. Hey, so get that cooker on. on. this side, you've got your extractor fan there. Yeah. Lovely. Electric hob. Uh, yeah, so what make we on Indeset, Indeset, Indeset appliances? appliances. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice that plank flooring runs all the way through, through yeah, into here. Yeah. Very yeah. nice room. So you've got a window there and a window there looking out of the back garden. Okay. Right. We've got another cupboard. So that's your understairs cupboard. Yeah. It's got a light. Yep, yeah. so we've got the RCD box in here, also the box for all of the things such as the modem, etc. It's funny how you think about things like modems now. Right, so through into the lovely lounge. Gee, I like the bay window there. Yeah. It's nice. Look, it's almost captures 
that view outside, yeah. isn't it? This particular house has got a lovely view, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, really it is. Has. Especially with the horsey across the road. We today. haven't got no Christmas tree in here, but well, Christmas, you know, tr Christmas special Christmas isn't always tree. about Christmas houses. It's about a selection of houses yeah. that we select for yeah. our Christmas special. Those, look, so. at the, look at the, the, the French doors there out into the garden. They're like, they've got a really, you actually look at the... Um, the, what do they call that, Emma? Leaded. Leaded, yeah. You're not a fan of that, are you? I don't like it. I do, I like it. It's quite. These are quite traditional looking houses. But at the front, it's it's a different way. I mean, those are leaded yeah. for the effect. Yeah. But um, yeah. I suppose it's a traditional house style, isn't it? It fits with the style of house. It's just not my cup of tea. Right, lounge is just over three meters by five meters three yeah i mean this is an amp it's ample isn't it for oh, it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a four bed i mean they've really. got two big sofas i've got a large coffee table yeah. a large unit here with your tv on now a lot of looking at this a lot of the things such as the modem and everything are over in that corner um which it's a difficult one that is where do you put that that sort of yeah. thing to keep it out of the way yeah where are most people going to have their tv it's it's yeah. a, a difficult one this room is it is but in a lot of houses we do see them in the cupboard under the stairs don't we All yeah no i mean that's door. like that's like the the open reach tv etc tv points they are well it's the same if you've got a sky box isn't it yeah where does it go yeah i mean you see a lot of people with uh, you know houses with the tvs on yeah. the wall but where do they put the sky yeah. box it's somewhere so they have even to, if you had a little they have to be in the facility to be connected yeah. to your tv and if you have they? a unit there if you have a unit there that would cover that up wouldn't it well yeah nice room though good room we'd like to know if you've had if you've had a problem like that how you've dealt with it what yeah. have you done with it in your house send us a picture show us what you do with so it so we're going to head upstairs now as i say there's um three right, floors going up to the first floor okay on the way up, we passed a lovely little window, window there as That's well, it. which overlooks the rear Just gives that little bit of extra light, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, let's start in bedroom two here, which is to my left. Gosh, what a big room. Yeah. Well, actually, this is almost near the top of the lounge, doesn't it? It is. It's above the lounge. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Right, bedroom two, three metres five by four metres eight. So it is actually yeah. the exact proportions of the lounge. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a window at the front, window at the rear. Without the without the sofas in there, you can see how big this room really is. Actually, if it's mirrored. I mean, you've got a large space for your bed just there. At this end, you could put wardrobes where you're standing. Steve, you could have your dressing table. Yeah. They've got themselves a desk there. Let's just have a look at the view over there. So you know, you can see this is like more village. Well, Lightmore Village was started by the Bourneville Village Trust and it's a really nice, sustainable village. Beautiful houses on here. Um, almost, almost, uh, it's like living in the country. It really is. It's just surrounded by great landscapes, etc. They've got their own schools here, their own village, village square. What a beautiful place to live. It's very nice. And the town centre is... 10 minutes? Yeah, I mean, Telford, minutes Telford is a great place to live and me and Emma are actually are moving back to Telford, to, well, to Telford, because it's so good. Right. Let's just have a look, just one minute Emma, I'm just going to take a look at the back garden. You can see here that what you get with, with the keep moat houses, you get these informal courtyards etc, really nice, um, and there's such a deep, look at the, the brick detailing on these houses. This is your main bathroom on this level there. So the dimensions are two meters four by one meter nine. So with this bath, you actually get a, 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 a shower unit there, yeah. um, which is really good instead of having, but you have got the option of doing it off the taps as well, haven't you? Well, yeah, you've got yeah. your hair washing yeah. attachment. So that's there. got everything you need here. Yeah. Um, sanitary wear is very, very nice. Right, we've got a door behind a door. Yeah. Let's have a look what's in there. Okay, so that could be your airing cupboard, yeah, couldn't it? Yeah. Always useful to have a space. You could put your laundry basket in there. Good size bathroom though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Really like tiling as well. Let me just draw your attention to these these spindles. Look how nice they are. Very sleek and smooth, aren't they? Right. Look at so Emma the, dismiss that the other detail. side of the landing, we've got bedroom one. Okay. So we've got bedroom one with this 
I don't even know what animal that is. What was what sort of animal do you? I, th I think it's a maybe a husky. Yeah. Husky, yeah. It'd be a big husky. Yeah. Wouldn't it? If your if your husky is responsible for that, let us know. Right. Let's have some dimensions in here. Two meters nine by three meters four. Good room. Good size room. But it's got an ensuite. Mm. Yeah. I suppose what it what it lacks is the kind of dressing. Hang on a minute. Area. Let's go. Hang on. That's the master bedroom. No, that's bedroom two. This is bedroom one. Is it? Yes, it is. But that feels bigger than this. Because this has got the ensuite. And I suppose it's got the wardrobe in it as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Beautifully dressed, though. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful light fittings Op in every room. Opulent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, why don't you show the viewers the, uh, the ensuite? Dimensions for the ensuite two meters nine by one meter two. Yeah, I mean you've got a kind of it's almost not not a double shower cubicle, but it's just not far off it. Really nice, really big window in this bathroom as well. With some great Twyford sanitary wear. Don't see Twyford very much, so good choice. But yeah, as you said in here, they have got a fitted wardrobe in here. I don't know if that's included, but yeah. obviously that takes up part of the, uh, yeah. the space in yeah. here, doesn't it? I'd say that's a that's a king size bed, I think. I might be wrong, but it looks like a king size to me, so it fits in quite adequately. Finally. Right, so we'll take a look up at the second floor. Okay. We'll okay, we'll... second floor then. So we're, we, we're in the volume of the roof Not here, so it's all, it is almost like a two and a half storey in a way, because um, we don't take the whole of the roof up, and you can see you've got that really nice um, detail of the roof there. I like that. Okay, well let's start in there where you are then. So that's bedroom three. Oh, beautifully staged. I love it. You just see the sun just poking through that window there, look. Do you really think nice. it feels a bit cooler up here? Yeah, it I mean, does. I have to say, I think it's very warm downstairs. Yeah. And it's slightly cooler up here, but that's quite But you've got a lot, you've got three floors for the heat to come up through. It's... I mean... It, it is so cold outside today, you would Yeah, but I think it's nice. It's a nice, cool temperature up here. Beautifully dressed. I love the wallpaper. It's gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Anything behind the door? No? You've got a little alcove here behind you, Steve. Yeah, that's... You could have a fitted wardrobe. Yeah, you could get a wardrobe. Floor. That's just Good. perfect for a wardrobe, yeah, isn't it? it? A yeah. standalone one. Really nice big window as well. Did they give you the dimensions for in here? No. Just to be sure then, three metres five by four metre one. Okay. Ah, so we have a door here on the landing. If you come through, so I don't open the door on you. There Good you go. size cupboard, isn't it? Cupboard. Does it go right around? No. No? Okay, right. Put nice little detail in there. So Always useful to have a cupboard. Right, so this is bedroom four then. Right at the top of the house. Very, very nice. It's a quirky little room. You've most definitely got the best view from in here. Dimensions, three metres seven by four metres one. It's a good size room. Yeah. Well, in fact, all the bedrooms in this house are double bedrooms, aren't they? Yeah. Double bedrooms and some. Really, really lovely. So again, you've got a little alcove there, a bit of space. I mean, that fits there beautifully, doesn't it? This house isn't overdressed in any no. way, but it, it is beautifully, beautifully staged. The interior design is lovely. The bedding is just We gorgeous. get that every time we keep note, though. Yeah, it's, they put a lot of effort It's a standard, that. isn't it? Yeah. Very, very nice. Well, that lovely house type. What have we got there, Emma? <coughs> the elder four bed. The elder. Mm -hmm. It is homed. good. A good house type. It, it, I mean, let's just do the checklist here. Great house type. Yeah. Great sized, on a great development, on a great village. Yeah. Um, Lovely. In a great town. Yeah. And that's that's all the boxes ticked, isn't it? And good view from this particular house as well. And don't just take our word for it. Come down and take a look at it, see what you think for yourself, you yeah. know, we've got a lovely sales negotiator called Lisa downstairs, yeah. she'll, be, she'll uh, look after you and show you what they do, all about the development. I will put all of the information that I've got on this, uh, this leaflet in the box down below, so don't forget to take a look and it'll have you some additional information about the area and, and what's going on and what have you, so don't forget to have a look. Uh, if you've, hang on, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also... 
if you've watched this video and you, it's helped you or encouraged you to buy a house, then leave us a review on our Facebook page. We like mm -hmm. to know what you think. Mm, we do. But we will catch you on our next video. Take Thanks care, for guys. watching.